Okay, how to use the Z table. If you look at your Z table, you will see there's two sections to it. One is this graph up here, and chart graph thingy, and then down here is a table. And basically what's happening with this is all the numbers in the table are possible values for what we're calling a p-value. And a p-value is the proportion of observations that are to the right of specific z's. That's what a p-value is. So you can think of this p-value in two ways. You can think of it as uh, a probability, like what is the probability that if I randomly select uh, an x or a z that that value will be in this little gray area. Or you can think of it the p-value as a proportion, which means what is the proportion of all of the possible values that are to the right of any specific point. And that's what we got, this gray area. And so it is, we can think of the observations in here as probabilities of picking an observation randomly and it's in here, or proportion, the proportion of all observations that are in here. Okay? So the question is, where does that number come from? And it comes from this table. So remember, there's a bunch of z's that go all across this distribution. z equals zero here at the middle. And if we move to the right, here is a random z, which is, corresponds to an x. We don't see the x value here, but there is a z here. So at each point where there's a possible z, we could draw a line, and there would be some proportion of all the observations to the right of that line. So this table tells us what that proportion is. And the way that we use this table is we look up a specific z, and it tells us the proportion that's to the right of it. And the first two digits of the z are in this column here, the column all the way to the left. And the third digit of the z is up here at uh, the top. So if we wanted to look up the p-value, or the proportion of observations that are to the right of, let's say, 1.23, z equals 1.23, then we'd go to 1.2, and we'd go over to 3. See the 3 right here? OK. So 1.2 and 3 gives us this number here, 0.1093. So the p-value at a z of 1.23 is 0 0.1093. So that's the proportion of observations that are to the right of a z of 1.23. OK? That's all it is. The thing to remember is that the p-values are inside the table, and the corresponding z's are in a combination of this left column and this uh, top. Okay? One other thing to note is that this is symmetrical. So when I find uh, the p-value that's to the right of 1.23, right? I can say that at z minus 1.23, which might be right about here, the p-values, the p-value here is the same probability or the same proportion, 0 0.1093. Remember that? We got that for the other side. Now we have it here. So it's completely symmetrical. If I were to draw a p-value arrow right here, it would be 0 0.1093 as long as this z was 1.23. Okay. All right. That's it.